Well, hello, hello. Hey, I'm Zach Campbell. I'm the baseball weirdo that snagged a zillion baseballs, and I'm very excited to get some custom shoes made. So let's get to it. So Zach, finally get your live design session. It's your turn. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Super hyped. Let's get to it. Well, mainly I was just wanting or thinking that the shoe could be as baseball-y as possible, whether it's like multiple baseballs or, or one gigantic red stitching piece of artwork. I don't know if you could make the entire shoe just look like a Major League Baseball. 100%. Check this out. All of a sudden, who do we have over here? The new commissioner of Major League Baseball. I think I'd do a good job. I'd make it a lot more fun. First of all, we need to bring back intentional walks with them actually throwing the pitches. I miss those. Every stadium needs to open two and a half or three hours early. Dasani water is banned from all stadiums. Zach, is there like a nickname that you usually go by? People call me foul ball guy, and I'm always like, it's home run guy. <laughs> what if it says official home run guy, Zach Hample? Or I mean, should it say like official Zach Hample shoe or something like that? Or sneaker. Oh yeah, oh, that's cool. That looks good. I mean, it definitely looks like a major, like make a major league baseball right now. I like it. I love that overall look. This looks so cool. I'm gonna be afraid to wear this. Well, I guess some thanks are in order. I gotta thank all of you guys first for taking the time. Thank you, Stadium Custom Kicks. Thank you, Red Moose, for the sponsor. I think you guys need to come over to my place soon, deliver the shoe, because I can't wait to unbox this thing. What's up, guys? Daniel here, artist for Stadium Custom Kicks. Today, we got a little special project for Mr. Zach Campbell. He is a legend who has caught over 10,000, I'd say, baseballs. What he wanted to do, we're going to do something special for him. He wanted to take a baseball, and we're going to turn it into a shoe. We got the commissioner, Mr. Robert B. Manfred. What we want to do is create a custom Zach Campbell baseball stand. We obviously have the iconic stitching on every baseball. All right, guys, that's it from the SDK Studios. Going to add a few little touch-ups and bring them over to Zach. Oh, well, that was fast. Come on in, guys, check out my place. This is the final home run that the Mets ever hit at Shea Stadium. But I caught this in like the fifth or sixth inning and I'm sitting there like, please, please universe, no more home runs. Last one. So the Mets didn't hit any after that. But, right, but it's the last Mets home run, which is sick. This is one that I got from A-Rod after I gave him the baseball from his 3,000th hit. It says, Zach, nice catch, <laughs> which is wrong because I didn't catch it. I picked it up off the ground, but you know. This is a bat that Mike Trout gave me and signed. He wrote, Zach, God bless Mike Trout. And then he wrote two-time AL MVP, 14 and 16. Of course, he's added another one since then. But at the time, I'm sure some people know, I caught Mike Trout's first career home run. Yeah. That was in Baltimore in 2011. I love collecting lineup cards These are from games. Cool. These are like faint ones that don't show up that well, but just like, over the years, I've gotten many, many lineup cards. Wow. Do you still get that same rush as you did when you were, let's say a kid, you are 12 years old and you saw a ball coming out, do you still get that same rush 12,000 balls later? Absolutely, it's a good question. If anything, it excites me more now because it's become such a bigger thing in my life right. and these balls have more meaning to me. Like now my livelihood practically depends on it being a full-time baseball YouTuber. When the batter connects and sends one out my way, even if it's like a routine fly ball, like for a split second, you know, it goes up at that angle and you're like, oh my God, and my heart will be racing. And then the ball falls like 75 feet short and I'm like, okay, I'm an idiot. What is your favorite and least favorite stadium to catch baseballs in? Bush Stadium is one of the toughest places. Yeah. yeah. I think Cincinnati is where I've been able to put up the biggest numbers consistently for years. Really? It was Turner Field for a while, I missed that place. Right. And Globe Life Park, the Rangers old ballpark was amazing, but I think Cincinnati now just for sheer numbers. When it comes, I don't want to say time, because time's not the right word, but somewhere in the future where you might not be around, 
<laughs> I don't want to say I it like that. Always going to be around. How dare you? <laughs> but where would these baseballs go? Let's say you get to 20,000 baseballs. Where would they end up? I need an open casket permanently installed in the bleachers of a stadium, and any home runs that land there go towards my total. <laughs> I will always catch baseballs. I want to be, I want to set a Guinness world record for the oldest person to ever catch a home run. That would be a great YouTube video. <laughs> Zach, I know you're very excited. You're inching your way towards these shoes, but not yet, not yet. I know you designed them over Zoom and we designed them with you and you had a lot of ideas that you wanted to put in towards uh, the shoes and what went yeah. into, what I mean, went it into was, that. It was really cool working with you guys. I, you know, I've spent the better part of my life chasing baseballs, so, I thought it would be amazing to have shoes that look like baseballs. So just the placement of the seams and like the logo of a baseball appearing on a shoe. And I, I can't wait to see if, or just like how these look compared to what they were like in Photoshop with all the designing. So like- Exactly, it's always, oh, it's always different in person. Oh, I need these. And this is, these are, these are your oh, shoes. Oh, what? Them out. Oh. Wow. Oh! This is sick. The official Zach Hample sneaker. This is like the yeah, baseball. Yeah, because a baseball stand. normally says official, you know, Major League Baseball, with then, you know, Rob Manfred's signature, used to be Bud Selig, used to be other people before that, but, yes, oh my God. I gotta, I'm gonna put these on. A little shoe test. Yeah, so look, as Zach's putting on the shoes, you can see it says official Major League Baseball with Rob Manfred's signature on it. And that's exactly what we have over here, the official Zach Hample sneaker. Um, and the shoe, I, I mean, I couldn't tell the difference. I, I would start putting, I, I might start lacing these on. But um, no, that's dead accurate. Holy smokes. Pretty sick. The design process was really cool for me because I'd obviously never been a part of that before. For my innermost fantasies for a shoe to take shape almost in real time on Photoshop with these guys who are just experts and knowing what's possible based on the design and the paint and the shoe and the flaps and the panels and, and everything else, it, it, it was really fascinating. I feel like I helped in my own way to make this happen. I think of myself as a creative person, so it, it was nice to be part of that process. Red Moose. Red Moose Shout happened. out to Red Moose. Thank you for making this happen. The sponsor of the video and of the shoes, which is uh, which is set.